and welcome to the OWC instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll show you how to add an optical drive and a 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch drive to the newer technology Mini Stack Max. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft, static, free work surface. We are now ready to begin. The first step is to flip the Mini Stack Max over. On the bottom, there are four Phillips screws you'll need to remove. Then, flip the mini stack back over and lift the cover straight up and off. We can now install our drives in the mini stack max. The Mini Stack Max can take either a 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch drive in its lower bay, depending on your individual needs. In most cases, a 3.5 inch SATA hard drive will be installed as these generally provide a large amount of storage with a relatively low cost per gigabyte. To install the drive, simply slide it into the lower bay until it rests against the back with the SATA connectors facing outward. There are several screws in a bag that came with your Mini Stack Max. To secure the 3.5 inch drive, you'll need the four large black screws. Holding the drive in place, flip the Mini Stack Max back over. The four screws need to go into these four holes to secure the drive in place. Once you've finished, you can flip the Mini Stack Max back over. Finally, move the power and data cables so they won't catch on the optical bay, then attach them to the hard drive. If you choose, you can install a 2.5 inch SATA drive in the Mini Stack Max instead. Whether it's a standard platter based drive or a solid state drive, they'll both work. For this installation, we'll be installing an OWC Mercury Extreme Pro 6G SSD. Making sure the SATA connectors are facing outward, slide the drive into the bay so that it lays between these two rails and butts up against this tab. You'll need the smaller four black screws from the included bag to secure the drive in place. Flip the drive over while holding the drive in place just like you would for a 3.5 inch drive. However, for the 2.5 inch drive, you'll need to use these four holes. You can now flip your mini stack back over and attach the SATA power and data cables, tucking the excess out of the way when you're done. If you plan on using an optical drive in your mini stack max, you can skip ahead to the next part. However, if you don't plan on using an optical drive, then you'll need to install the optical drive slot cover before closing up your mini stack max. Flip the top of the mini stack max over. Line up the holes in the slot cover with the two receptacles in the mini stack lid and set it into place so that the center tab slides into the notch in the mini stack. You can then secure it in place using the two medium sized silver screws that came with the mini stack kit. Set the optical drive into the drive bay so that the thinner portion on the underside of the drive slides right into the drive brackets channel. Then, line up the mounting holes on the edge of the drive with the holes on the outside edge of the bracket. Use two of the four small silver screws to secure the drive to the bracket. Use the other two small screws to do the same on the other side. Be careful as these holes are set back underneath the wide portion of the optical drive and may be a bit tricky to get to. Finally, attach the SATA cable to the connector on the drive. You're now ready to close the Mini Stack Max up. Set the lid back onto the Mini Stack Max, making sure the cutout lines up squarely with the bezel around the external connectors. Then, flip the Mini Stack Max over and replace the four screws in the corners. You can now flip the Mini Stack Max back over and remove the protective plastic film from the top. Your Mini Stack Max is now ready to attach to your computer.